Hello, uh, this is more Barnes Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman. Um, I'm trying out a new way... Well, I'm trying out... Um, a different headset. Mostly because I left my other headset in another city. I'll get it later. But, um, so the audio may be different from before. But I hope it'll be alright. Uh, I did notice on review when I actually tried this headset that the audio from the recordings was coming out as mono, which I don't know if I noticed before. Generally, what I've been reviewing, I mean, first of all, the data shows up as it sounded like stereo with my other headset, but it doesn't sound like stereo with this one. And other things sound like stereo. I don't know what that's about. Uh, but it's fairly understandable that the Commodore would be recorded as mono because it, didn't, it, it, it was mono. Uh, so I'll fix that. And I, I'll, make the, I'll, I'll mix it down so that the sound won't be in one channel only, which is pretty annoying. Anyway, so where I left things in the last video was we were almost dead and there was a cliffhanger because I thought that would be cool. I, and I was like, okay, I'll pause it and then tomorrow I'll continue from this pause point. And I paused and it crashed. So there's that. Uh, I'm gonna be taking emulator-based snapshots for now on because saving with the floppy is kind of slow. Uh, so I'll just take snapshots now and then. If I crash somehow, uh, it, it won't really take a lot back. Uh, also, um, I think that I I went from whatever. There's some reasons why I think it crashed, and I think I fixed them, and I may not get crashes anymore. But uh, we have to pretend that I rescued my party from certain death. I almost certainly would have died, and I would have had to just resurrect them all, which is a little, which isn't very exciting process unless you really don't have the resources to deal with it and then it's sort of oh shit how am I going to deal with this but uh in practice I just loaded my party again threw away a bunch of money to simulate having all died and continued here I am at the entrance to level 3 uh in level 2 you may recall there's anti-magic zones on the way to the stairs so I don't have any spells running so I'm gonna cast those now. Well, I had light running, but uh, nothing else. Okay, so I'm going to try to take the idea of this, you know, down below is to the first right thing to do. I know that this area sucks, so I'm going to go Okay, emulator went out to lunch, came back. I don't know what that's about. It just was uh, giving me the little I'm busy spin. Maybe I'm running low on memory. Maybe there's a bug. Whatever, I'm just gonna save the state. So I just phased doored. I, I captured that. I was on screen through this wall. So um, I guys now right here. Turned this way. Incidentally, uh, when I was recovering, getting back to this point, um, sort of redo, I was lost in the crash. I remembered that there's actually an audio toggle. Uh, there's actually an audio toggle in all of the games, but it's stupid in the earlier ones. So I'm going to press V, and it just stops making the bard music. Uh, 
personally, I've, since I've been playing this a lot, I kind of am ready. I would probably turn the bard music off for a while until I was ready to hear it again. But uh, people watching, I assume, kind of want that nostalgia, I hope. I can't really give you that choice. You either have to choose to have it on or choose to have it off. But so in the older games, if you turn off the audio, you just didn't even remember, you didn't notice when your bard songs fell off, and that was kind of a big problem. But in this, in the in this uh, eight bit versions of this game, there's this little note, so you just know, and if it disappears, your bard song stopped. That seems way better. Okay, I did something. I mapped this wrong somehow. I thought that this was um, that this was well. We'll find out in a moment. Six corruptors. That sounds bad. Uh, last time I fought down here, I got totally owned. I guess I can't run away from everything though. So I'm gonna try fighting them. And see what happens. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is do Robin's Tune in case they summon. So the summoning will start failing. And then I'm going to cast Anti Magic to try to reduce their chances of hitting you with spells. And Ice Storm uh, to soften them up. So far, we haven't seen them attack. They just advanced. Okay, let's see how this goes. Uh, they miss. So they're mostly doing just normal attacks. Okay, so this, this these don't seem to be super threatening. Although Dragon Breath isn't working very well against them. Oh, I can turn the audio back on, I guess. I don't know if I can turn the audio back on while in combat, though. I, I just tried, and but there's no audio normally at this point. It's V for volume, or something like that. I think S was already taken. Okay, that went well enough. Uh, no special items. There we go. Sound back. No special items. Um, and not any special experience either. But yeah, so from from this position, I can see a lack of wall here. I go up here. Oh, so I don't know what I was looking at. I must have been just confused about what I was looking at. One, two, three, four. I can see two walls way down there. I'm a little unsure how far away the wall on the left is. It's not here. Here. Yeah, that's where it was. 
Okay, um... Give me a west through the door. Check the north. There's a wall. Check east and south at what I expect. No shenanigans. Kicking these walls because I'm being paranoid. I probably don't need to. There's, there's just been like once or twice in the game where uh, they were like, the way to uh, find a secret door is to try to go through a wall. And if you cast a spell, you can see secret doors. But there's a double secret door, like one place in the game. Just um, looking with the right spell doesn't work. Just to screw with you. I think that doesn't happen here, but I don't, I don't know. I'm just amusing myself, I suppose, in, in a very poor way. difference from using this different headset is going to be oh, a message that you can't hear me typing for better or worse. Okay, note, third, ward, ward capital W ward. Given the way they've been presenting, so like I, I guess it's more than that. I think the old man told me explicitly, "Go kill him, go kill Brelhasti." So that's my marching orders for right now. We are on. Where's the? So I guess there's going to be some obstacles more than this maze to killing. He's got wards or something. I don't know what that means. I mean, spoilers, I know what that means because I played this game before, but I'm going to act like I don't know what that means because I wouldn't. I certainly didn't the first time. How far away are they? I don't know anymore, I guess. I guess they're in front of us because I'm hitting them. Now these wind demons were not summoned by anything. They were just there. Are they illusionary? Are they just like Maybe they were summoned earlier, maybe they, I don't know. It makes me wonder if there's like whole races of creatures where all of the members of the race are actually illusions, illusions that reproduce. Okay, so these two doors link up, I think. I mean, pretty sure.
so I was about to say, I don't think this huge slack is a big threat. And to be true, truthful, I don't, I, I really, I don't think it is. But then it went ahead and breathed on me for a ton of damage. I'm not really sure whether I should use a, a harmonic gem on my mages yet. They're a little low on spell points. If I get into a nasty fight, that might not be a good situation to be in. But I'm still feeling like I need to use them efficiently. restoration if I needed to. Okay, so I slightly misread one of those walls as a wall when it was a door. No big deal. case it's pretty free experience and money and it's free healing because of the bard Imagine if people actually designed spaces, like, I don't know, office buildings like this. We're going to have a tiny cubbyhole room with two doors, followed by another tiny cubbyhole room with two doors. So check our handiwork against auto map. Does this seem the same? Sure does. No, I'll say I find ours quite a bit easier to read. Okay, more corruptors. I'm gonna fight. 
And this time I'm gonna shoot. So oh, I still have that kills at. One problem with having the emulator crash um, is it's easy to forget what you did with your inventory. Like maybe you got an item and you forget you don't have it anymore. So now you drop things that you don't think are upgrades, even though they are. Or items that you dropped because they're garbage, you have again, and you're like, oh, what is that doing there? Um, I am not sure it's worth using spells at all on them because they didn't do anything very bad at all. These arrows are sure not working though. I'm gonna use the armor song as opposed to, well, just cause I don't think they cast spells. So if they don't cast spells and I make my armor really good, then they're not gonna do any damage to me. One more armor. Good luck. Yeah, now they're missing like crazy. Oh, oh, they hit. And they hit with a special status. Your snack is crazy. And not in a sort of like a, you know, has, has mild delusion sense. Griznak swings at Griznak and misses. I don't know, I maybe it's some kind of nervous twitch. Overall, that went all right. My my rogue meanwhile has seemed to turn have turned some corner where she's pretty like a very significant percentage of the time the traps actually get disarmed. I don't know why that is. I don't think I even leveled it. Maybe I just have a string of luck. Or my bad luck ended. So I just got an adamant helm, I think that that's a useful upgrade for a lot of people. Kills axe go away. Uh, it's on Old Lady Oak Shield, and Lady Oak Shield has the worst armor class, so. I'm gonna equip that right away. So who has Mithril Helms already? I think everyone. Grisnak has one. Hop Blossom. Don't know if they, he, she can use them. Uh, Chantrell does not. So let's try giving the Mithril Helm to Chantrell. Where is it? Oh, it's on wrong character. Lady Oak Shield trade to. show the rogue's abilities just briefly, because I don't even know what they are. Well, first, this item. You can fail to identify it, but I'm pretty sure it's a gem. Okay, so right now we're at disarm traps 40%. That makes sense that I would be feeling like it 
works a significant percent of the time. With a fight. Shit. Which things should we be afraid of here? Killer Nefas are new, but I'm suspicious they just kind of hit us mostly for a significant, for not trivial, but not crazy damage. The wing demons, I have no idea what they're going to do, and I'm focusing my attacks on them. I'm going to use the armor class song because. I think the Magic Eaters and the Fast will all hit me. And uh, Ice Storm on the... Oh, no. I meant to do Ice Storm on Killer and the Fast, and I did it on and on for something else. But Death Strike. Just, just for kicks. Oh, I don't know. I don't have it yet. Okay. Uh, I'm casting Dragon Breath on Killer Nefast. So two group spells on Killer Nefast. And let's try to slow this down so we can see what's really happening. The Wing Demons are casting spells. One of them failed. It was like a single target. Well, the killer nefasts are doing significant damage, but not crazy damage, like 27. My spells are not doing much to them. Uh, and one of the wing demons went down, but not both. So one more attack on the wing demon, the others will attack the killer in the fasts. I'm going to use more armor songs. Uh, my attempt at assassinating will be a, a killer in the fast. That was the wrong key. <laughs> so I'm going to enter that stuff again. As I said before. Uh, these spells aren't doing much, so defend and defend. A lot of missing. Okay, both wing demons are down. I think the ones that are left are going to be almost entirely about just hitting me. But my armor class is now down to minus 19. I think I'm pretty set. But I'm going to try casting a spell on them anyway, because it seems like knocking them down is going to take a while. Oh, they're summoning. Okay, so I have to use the no, no summoning spell, or er, song. Why this is going to go on forever. Summoned again. I 
kill the other. Okay, now no summoning is in effect. So they should fail to summon in future attempts. Lacking a clear goal for the bard songs at this point. Um, I'm continuing to do the healing one, but it's maybe not really the right idea. Okay, look at that spell just being just being uh, resisted like crazy. I'm going to go on to start stacking up the Rhyme of Duo time as opposed to Bring Around Valor. So uh, the Rhyme of Duo time, when I stack that up, my fighters get increased numbers of multiple attacks. So they're hitting the enemy right now four times, and after this it'll be up to five times and so on. My goal here is that I can at least, you know, kill them efficiently instead of having all these damage attacks that don't take anything out. Which are probably stacking, you know, very inefficiently by chance. Elaine the Shore misses a lot, though, I'll say that. It's kind of frustrating. She doesn't seem to be pulling her weight at this point. I'm sure I have her disarm some chests now and then, but... And she kills a ranged enemy every once in a while. But... Um, Mostly, she's just kind of sitting there, sucking up experience. Let me see if I can have this identified. Well, this harmonic gem, I can trade. Trade to a mage who has inventory slots. This item, which is probably a gem. Okay, Bone Acolytes scare me, and Bone Nars don't. There's only two Bone Acolytes, and I'm at full hit points, so I'm going to try this. I don't, they don't, these things don't scare me because I know what they do, they scare me because they, I don't know what they do, and... It, so far, casters on the third level seem a lot meaner than on the second level. So, what's my strongest attack spell? Probably Dragon Breath. Uh, Griselda has the much stronger Ice Storm. I did that on the wrong targets. No, I did it on the right targets. I was just confused because they're both bone. Oh, but Dragon Breath doesn't go 40 feet, so I have to do Star Flare, which goes 40 feet. Ice Storm goes 50 feet, so it's strong and it goes far. It's kind of convenient. Okay, so they're casting spells at me, but they're too far away, so their spells don't work. I guess the AI isn't that great. Meanwhile, the Bonars are hitting me for like 40-odd damage. My spells are not working well. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, 
Okay, they picked a more effective range spell. Oh, now they're summoning fire elementals. Maybe I should shut that off. So I'm not low enough that I think I'm going to die next round, or even come close. So I'm going to just let my fighters try to mop stuff up and keep stacking up bard songs to restore hit points. The assumption is they're not going to be able to mount a large enough attack to overcome the increasing wave of healing. Twenty seven. And my current rate of healing is like fifteen a turn or something like that. Wow, 34 is not a good number. Rogue gets a chance to backstab one of them and succeeds. Okay, at this point I think my healing is strong enough that I just can't lose famous last words. Elendor, for example, took 28 hit points of damage. I didn't get fully healed up, but got healed up to 24. I didn't mean to do that, but I'm going to advance again. Yeah, at this point, my healing per round is maybe in the 30s. And the only real problem with taking damage is waiting for the healing animation to happen. They should have like, I don't know, sometimes it feels like they should start thinking about surrendering. But they're not programmed to do that. So. Okay, my light is out again. I don't know, I don't remember when I last cast it. It'll just be that time. squares. Come on back for this kind of Tetris piece looking thing. Okay, nothing 
nothing interesting in here. Oh, I'm gonna stop it. Goblin Gulper. I think I fought those on the last level. Corruptors, which I fought in this level. Wing Demons, which... Uh, I'm gonna go after the Wing Demons. And... Use the armor song because I think I'm killing off spellcasters right away. Oh, 63. Okay, I'm casting a healing spell next round, and I'm hoping it saves me. Well, one wind demon is dead, so I can't get hit with two of those next turn. Uh, the rogue's going after the goblin gulper. Restoration, which heals all damage, all of it. Because I was thinking I might get hit by another 50 damage spell. Mostly. I'm going to keep on stacking the armor because I don't think there are any spellcasters left. And as you can see, the corruptors are pretty good shots. Okay, this round I'm doing a little bit of the healing song. Well, I'm using the healing song this round. But I'm not going to focus too much on stacking it up because we're later in the combat. And I don't think I'm going to take ongoing damage. And I think one cast is probably enough to have a significant... effect in restoring Grisnak's health. I could use, um, I don't know, what do I want? I want experience and I want upgrades. That's what I want. I'm on level 3. Give me more experience, give me upgrades. The experience seems to be not very different from level 2. Like, sort of 3000 versus 2000. At least some of the equipment drops are significantly better. Okay, three wind demons, and none of them are close to start attacking them right away. I'm going to choose to run if I can. Uh, got denied. Uh, I'm going to start stacking healing because I have no idea what's going to happen. And I think that the wind demons are a bigger threat. Oh, isn't there... Do I have invis... No, that's like a sorcerer spell. Well, I'll cast anti-magic to lessen the possibility of getting slammed by spells. Well, that's slammed a bit anyway. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to use armor now because I'm focusing on trying to knock out the corruptors or the wing demons, which means I'm going to leave the corruptors there. Uh, so I'm going to put up armor so I can sort of ignore them. How about Spectre Touch on? The wind demons. Ooh, that worked well. Shock sphere on them. I'll try that next time. Hmm, crazed. I guess I should use two rounds of armor against these guys. Uh, they may know more about insanity than I do because flesh restore to me doesn't sound like it would fix insanity. But I suppose the brain is part of the body. Okay, let's hope that minus 19 is hard enough that they won't hit me. Nope, they hit me anyway. Not disastrous, but not great. You, better experience, though. And new items. Ags, arrows. What is an ags arrow? Probably better. Okay, um, I'm going to keep on using up my youth potion. Because... The alternative. Oh crap, that's a hit point gain square square. Oh actually all of these are hit point gain squares. There's some wandering around. Okay, I'm gonna go I'm gonna do the, the uh, cheesy bard healing at this point. Because What else should I do? I guess I could cast Restoration. But I started down this road. I'm going to finish it. I think I'm done now. Yep. Let's go to the east. Okay. Wall and door. Wall and door. To the 
yourself. Just walls. No hit point drained in this little thing, but also nothing exciting. Let's go to the store on the east side. It's like a two by two rooms. This level seems to be full of two by two rooms. it's probably time to stop. I got a timer even and uh, so I could track how long these are taking because the recording software doesn't and I forgot to turn it on. This <laughs> one's so sitting there showing zero seconds. Early on um, I was allowing the game to make me remember to stop. Uh, you know, I ran out of resources in less than an hour. But that's not true anymore. Here's our here's an overview of the progress in mapping this level. I'm presuming it fits in the same box as the upper levels, a little less than half. Uh, and my pages, which I'm pretty concerned about their progress, have gotten to 184,000. I think around 210,000 is when they finish the class. So looking forward to that. Okay. See you next time. Bye.